Hey everyone, guess what I'm doing with this Swiffer Duster? Ta-da! We just received these uh, new Daniel Hertz Chiara speakers with the Daniel Hertz Maria 800 uh, amplifier. I'll, I'll go into some of the details uh, so to explain what it is. Now, uh, Mark Levinson has had the Chiara out for a few months, maybe even a year, I don't know exactly when, but these are the very latest version and the big change is the in uh, cabinet enclosure. Uh, before they were using MDF, now he switched entirely to um, a special type of uh, uh, Perspex uh, acrylic and uh, he calls it wave glass. So this is the latest version and that enclosure includes the enclosure for the tweeter as well as the woofer. And according to uh, Mark, the improvement over the MDF version is quite significant, which is why they're gonna uh, make sure all of the speakers that they produce going forward will use this material. So we just got the very latest version. Um, what's also interesting is that this little tiny woofer has um, a free air resonance of 27 Hertz. That's insane. This little tiny woofer, was that, six and a half inch woofer, um, uh, can produce some serious bass. My first initial impression so far uh, certainly uh, 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 proves that out. So I'll be doing more testing and so on once we break everything in. And this, by the way, is exactly the same system that we're going to use to at the Montreal show, which is happening uh, March the 22nd or 23rd, 22nd, um, next Friday. So that's the speaker, and by the way, the speakers, this is the back, so if uh, uh, um, Alison wants to come a little bit closer, we can show what the back looks like. So the speakers are uh, bi-amp only, so you've got a set for a set of binding posts for the bass and a set of binding posts for the highs, and the crossover is actually done digitally, electronically inside the Maria uh, integrated amplifier. So that's what it looks like. Um, so that's on the back. So very easy to set up. Um, the tweeter is, uh, I guess, ribbon based. They call it aerostriction. I don't know all the details about it yet, but I'll find out. It looks to be, what, about a four inch or so. Um, and it's supposed to handle a tremendous amount of dynamics and, and, and uh, power and so on. This is the uh, Maria 800. Now, you've seen, if you've seen our past uh, Daniel Hertz reviews, uh, the Maria 350. This is the 800. So the 800 is actually two stereo amplifiers in one, and that's so that you can drive these speakers in bi -amp configuration. The front looks exactly the same. I'll turn it around so you can see the back. Okay, so if you want to come closer. So instead of only four terminals, you have now eight terminals. And again, you'll notice it says right subwoofer, right mid highs, left subwoofer, left mid high. Right, so this is how you connect your speaker cables to the speaker. So this left uh, mids and highs will go to that speaker over there on the left to drive the ribbon. And then these two will drive the woofer. And that's it, very simple. And of course, you connect your digital input over here or over here. You've got RCA or USB. And if you've got analog inputs, you connect them over here. So very, very easy uh, setup-wise. There is nothing for you to adjust or, or anything. Just connect your source, press play, and away you go. This, by the way, is very cool. This is the tool that comes with the Maria to tighten the binding post. And uh, I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? You'll see that there's a, like a bulge, rectangular bulge or an oval bulge, and that fits right in there. And by turning it, you can torque the binding post so that it gives a really nice uh, uh, connection. And their binding post is very unique. Typically, you will see a typical five-way binding post and so on, not with Daniel Hertz. Mark uh, was very adamant to, uh, in his mind to provide the very, very best connection between the speaker wire and the amplifier. And so what you have are just basically two brass plates. And you either use bare wire or uh, spades that goes in there, and then you torque it down. This way, it's as pure a connection as possible. 
and that's basically it. So uh, power rating, this is uh, 350 watts into 8 ohms rated, although it's quite conservative according to Mark, and about 500, I believe, into 4 ohms for each of these channels. Uh, the Maria, can, uh, Maria 800 can also be bridged so that into 8 ohms, I believe, it puts out 1.2 kilowatts. So for those of you who have speakers that can really use a lot of power, um, and uh, you don't need to buy Impit, you can order the Maria 800 bridge to give you all that power. Uh, anyway, so that's it. Oh, uh, final thing, pricing. I believe this set, and it has to be sold ultimately as a set. You can buy this separately, but if you buy the Kiriara, you must buy that. As a set, it is 50,000 euro. Um, if you want the optional museum grade perspex stands those are 3000 euro if i'm not wrong so total system as you see it is 53000 euro whatever that works out to in us dollars i think they're almost one to one so it's about 53000 us in canadian dollars it's like a million dollars the canadian dollar keeps dropping um, closer to about 75 76000 canadian dollars anyway um, hope you enjoyed this if you watch this and you are anywhere in Montreal or near Montreal, March the 22nd to the Sunday, whatever that is, 25th, please drop by. We will be in room 1222 demonstrating this and hopefully having a great time. All right, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.